There are many obstacles to making a piece of public sculpture and a public place. Number one, and the most important, is the public's health and safety. Number two is vandalism. And number three is durability. Number four, it has to have a twist or a meaning to engage people, but it must be accessible too. Several of my pieces have been mounted on stilts or pillars to keep them out of the way of vandals and allow traffic a visibility envelope. They include the Tudor jugglers on stilts in Chester, civic pride of lions in London Hendon, and dancing with Kitty Stobling on stilts in County Monaghan, Ireland. When I worked at Wadden with children and adults with learning difficulties, I used origami in the workshops. It's clean, challenging and creative. I designed a piece that evolves from paper, aeroplane to an angel, to a human. It's fabricated in stainless steel and flies through a leisure centre in, in Wadden. Wadden was the original airport for London and a leisure centre has built, been built nearby, so I tried to make it evolve. So it's origami evolution and it's evolving into a human. Tilly Drone had at least three paper mills exploiting the power and water of the dawn. Now there's only one and the dawn is revitalising. How to combine the two, the paper making and the nature? Well, for me it's a no-brainer. There's swans on the dawn, so it's paper swans or paper origami swans. I did some workshops with the students at St Macker's and the lovely ladies of the Tiddley Drone community flat and others. Whoever made the first original origami swan was a genius. How do you know where you're going when you start folding? How did they decide that? The folds get more and more complicated and inside themselves and outside themselves and gradually the swan evolves. You can see it beginning here and there we have. Very lifelike and beautiful design. The site of Tilladron is at the interface between nature and where the dawn as wildlife met the industry. Now it meets humanity. What I'm trying to say is my proposal is a juxtaposition of both. I've got some previous experience making swans. This is in the, in the building that became known as the Swan Building in Dundee. And these are in Hampshire, in Flint. No, Fleet. <laughs> I mean, it's the site of Tildron is inter interfered. I propose to mount the sculptures in a permutation chosen by you and the community. <coughs> we can have four swans within the budget. It could be two dihedrals or upbeats, or with two inhedrals with downbeats. It could be all four, all the same. It's up to the Tilly drone panel uh, and the community to decide how they would like swans to fly as they reunite the industrial history with the natural history of the area. Swans are always a source of stimulation and awe, and when you hear their wing beat overhead and look up, who can't fail to be moved? <laughs>